this is JB with Creations Misfit, and today I'm going to show you how to make a heart pillow in a larger size, um, about 11 inches. So I have a tutorial that I already did for a 7 inch and a 9 inch heart, and today we're going to do the larger one. So this is the 11 inch that we'll do today, and then I also have a tutorial for a 9 inch and a seven inch and if you would like to do one of those instead i will put the link in the description box below and i'll also put a link up here in the corner like one of those little cards that come across the top um, and you should be able to just click on that if you'd like to do one of the smaller sizes but today we're going to do the 11 inch and the um the stitches are the stitch count is different for this one that's why i had to make a different video for it so what you will need is some size six super bulky yarn i use a, like a chenille super soft kind of yarn and this one is bernat baby blanket and then you will need a size nine millimeter hook a pair of scissors a yarn needle to sew in your ends and a stitch marker or an extra piece of yarn to mark your stitches so let's go ahead and get started. Um, you could use any kind of yarn you'd like. It really will work with anything. But for, oh, and also, I'm sorry, I forgot this. You'll need something to stuff it with. So I use this polyfill, uh, premium polyester filling that I get from Hobby Lobby. It's like $3 a bag. Um, I found that to be the cheapest one anywhere else. It seems like it's like 6 or $9 for the same bag. So wherever you can find some kind of filling is is up to you um, okay so we are going to start with a magic circle and if you don't know how to do that you can look in the description box below and I'll put a link to a longer video for it otherwise I'll just show you how I do mine here you can also just chain four and uh, slip stitch into the first chain and that will make a circle for you if you'd rather do it that way so I put my yarn over my three fingers wrap around and make an X in the back and then put my hook under the first go over the second and just bring it around and that's your magic circle and then we're going to chain one so I just chain while it's still on my hand and we go from there okay so inside the magic circle we are going to do 10 single crochet so go ahead and do your 10. I will do mine off camera and I will meet you right back. Okay, after you've done your 10, we're going to close up our magic circle by pulling on this string. Sometimes with the chenille yarn, it's harder to pull, so just be careful so that yours doesn't break. All right, and then we're not going to slip stitch like you normally would to close up. We're just going to work right into that very first single crochet. And it might be hard to find, so just kind of count your stitches around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we're going to do a single crochet into that very first single crochet. And then we will mark our very first stitch with a stitch marker because we're going to be working in the round rather than uh, slip stitching at the end of each round. So we need to keep track of where our first stitch is. All right, and then go back into that same stitch and do another single crochet. This is round two, and we're going to do uh, increases all the way around. So we're going to do two single crochet in every stitch around. Then you will end up with 20 at the end of this round. Okay, so I'll see you back. You can pause the video, do your 20, and I will meet you back. At the end of round two, you should have 20 single crochet. You can uh, pull that if you need to tighten it some more. Sometimes it comes undone while you're working. Okay, so for round three, we're going to single crochet into that very first stitch where our stitch marker was. We'll do one single crochet and then mark your stitch. And in the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. So we're going to increase there. And that will be our pattern around. One single crochet, and then two in the next. And at the end of this round, you will have 30 single crochet. I'll see you at the end of round three. All right, at the end of round three, you should have 30 stitches. 
And I wanted to say something. This Bernat Baby is so soft. Um, I always like interchange Bernat Baby blanket and regular Bernat blanket yarn. And I always thought they were pretty much the same. But this is so much softer. It's so easy to use. This one I used regular Bernat blanket. And you probably can't tell the difference here. They look similar. But this is more coarse. But if you could get the baby blanket yarn, it's so smooth to work with. Okay, so for rounds four and five, we're going to do the uh, the same thing for both of those rounds. We are going to do one single crochet in every stitch around. So make sure you do your first stitch and mark it. And this will be for round four. And you're just going to do one single crochet all the way around in every stitch. So you'll have 30 at the end of round four. And then I also want you to do round five. Same thing, 30 stitches, one single crochet in each. And then I will meet you back after round five. At the end of round five, we're going to tie off because we need to make two of these. Um, this is a no sew pattern, but we do have to make two of the tops. This is the top one side and we're gonna make the other and then put them together and work our way down. So um, go ahead and chain one and tie off kind of a long piece here and then I'm going to show you how to uh, kind of pull this in the back so it'll be easier when we put them together so insert your hook um, in the stitch next to where your chain uh, your stitch marker is and insert it from the back or you can turn your piece around if you want and just go into the one right next to that and then pull through this long strand. Pull that through to the back. Okay, if you kind of pull that tight. And now where your um, stitch marker is, you can kind of see there's a front loop and a back loop. There's a front loop here, back loop here. If you can't find the back loop, that's okay. You can just go through both. But I like to go into the back loop and pull this long piece through and chain one with it and then just pull it tight and you can remove your stitch marker but um, that just kind of seams it a little bit better and then when we go into it we'll grab both loops when we put them together All right so you need to make another one of these tops and I will put the pattern on the screen for you so you don't have to go back and rewind the video but go ahead and make another top but just don't uh don't tie off this time okay because we're going to keep our hook on there so make one more top and then i will see you after that okay once you have your two pieces we're going to stick with the one that's on our hook and remove your stitch marker and do a single crochet into that very first stitch and then place your stitch marker again and we're going to do 15 total single crochet so that was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14 and 15. Okay, so once you've done your 15, we're going to grab our other piece that we worked on before and just find the part where the string is uh, from our last stitch. And we're going to go into that first stitch there. So right here. Okay. We're just going to go into that stitch and pull our attached string around or attached yarn and do a single crochet right there to attach the two okay so you should have an attachment like this and then we're going to single crochet all the way around this piece that we just added so we need 30 single crochet all the way around we just did one so just keep going around three four five just keep going all the way around until you have 30 and then I will meet you back. When you get to that last one, that 
number 30. It might look a little funny because that's where we pulled up from the back loop only. So make sure that you go through both loops for your 30th. All right, and then from there, we're going to go back to the first piece that we had. Now remember in the beginning, we had already done 15, and then we did 30 around this one. And now we're gonna finish up with the last 15 around the first one. So just pick up that piece, see where you did the last stitch, and start going into the next stitch. And we're going to do 15 around. Now there's going to be a hole there, and that's okay. We're going to close that up, so don't worry about that. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen and 15. If I'm going too fast or too slow, you can change the speed of the video or, um, you know, just put it on pause and come back. All right, so um, just pull your uh, hook a little bit, pull a little hole there, or I'm sorry, a little uh, loop there. We're going to go ahead and close up this center piece. So these pieces in the middle where we did our uh, magic circle you could just leave those in there or if you want to sew them in whatever is your preference i just leave them in and they kind of get buried once we start stuffing it but besides those oh look it made a little heart <laughs> um besides those two we are going to use this strand here and just put your hook in underneath each side here in the middle and pull this yarn piece through okay and you're going to do that again do that twice just put the yarn piece over pull it through again and then i usually do it about three times and on the third time when i pull through i pull i do like a chain there to make a knot and then you can flip your piece over and make sure that your hole is completely closed it usually is and then um, that's it so that's the end of round six I think that was six right yeah that was six and we'll have 60 single crochet all the way around and this piece if you want to tie it off or cut it from here or just leave it it doesn't matter I'm just gonna cut it. all right so moving on to round seven we are just going to do one single crochet in every stitch around so make sure that you are still marking that very first stitch and you will have 60 stitches. So go ahead and do one single crochet all the way around and you'll have 60 at the end of round seven. All right, moving on to round eight, we are going to single crochet in the very first five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to do a decrease. So we're going to do two single or single crochet two together. And instead of just doing the regular, if you're not sure how to do a, a decrease, I'll put in a video tutorial in the description box below, but it's pretty easy. Normally we would just go into the first stitch like we're doing a regular single crochet, yarn over and pull up two loops, and then go into the second stitch, yarn over and you have three, and then you yarn over and pull through all three. So that's a decrease, and you can do it that way if you'd like, but when we're using something where we stuff it, like an amigurumi, um, it's good to do an invisible decrease because then you can't really tell where the decrease is. So it's the exact same thing, but we're just gonna go through the front loops only so here's the front loop, here's the back loop, here are both loops where we would normally go. We're just going to pull up the front loop for each side, or you know, for each piece of the decrease. So go into the front loop of the first, yarn over and pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, or I'm sorry, don't yarn over, just go into the second front loop, 
yarn over and pull up a loop. You have three on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And then that makes it look like it's not a decrease. Okay, and we're gonna do that all the way around. So I'll do this next set with you as well. We're gonna do five single crochet. And then we're going to do that invisible decrease again. So we're gonna go through the, top, uh, the front loop and then the front loop of the next one, and then yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so that will be your pattern for round eight, all the way around, and you will have 52 stitches at the end of this. Now, it's not gonna come to be where, um, like normally on the other pattern, it always ended up that we ended with the decrease every time. For this pattern, the stitch count's different, so you're not gonna end up with the same every time it's not going to be like a full five stitches and a full decrease every time around but you will end up with 52 stitches so just make sure that you count as you go and i'll see you at the end of round eight i'm coming around to the end of round eight and i have after i've done my last decrease i have four stitches left so that's okay if that's how it ends up for you well it should end up like that for you and that should be 52 at the end of round eight okay so this is kind of what it's looking like and moving on to round nine, we are just going to do one single crochet in every stitch around for a total of 52 single crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you back after round nine. All right, moving on to round 10, we are going to single crochet in the very first four stitches. There's one two, three, four, and then we're going to do our decrease after that, the invisible decrease again, going through just the front loops of the next two stitches to put two single crochet together. All right, so that's your pattern all the way around, and you will end up with 44 stitches at the end of round 10. At the end of round 10, you will end with four single crochet. and that will give you 44 stitches. All right, so for round 11, it's a really easy round again. We're just going to do one single crochet in every stitch around, and you will have 44 stitches at the end of round 11. I'm sure you can see how this is going, um, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna keep coming back after each round just in case anybody needs help. I know everybody's at a different skill level, and when I was starting out, I really liked when they just came back after every round and reassured me that I was doing things right. So go ahead and do your 44 round and I'll see you at the end of round 11. All right, 44 stitches at the end of round 11 and moving on to round 12, we are going to do a single crochet in the very first three stitches and then do our invisible decrease after that. And that will be your pattern around Three single crochet and then the invisible decrease and you will have 36 stitches at the end of round 12. When you're coming around to the end of round 12 you're going to have four uh, stitches left so we won't have a chance to do a decrease in that last one so just go ahead and do four single crochet in the last four stitches and that will give you 36. All right, so let's go on to round 13, which is our easy round. We're just going to do one single crochet in every stitch around for round 13, and that will give you 36 um, stitches at the end of this round. All right, round 14, we are going to do a single crochet in the first two stitches, and then do our invisible decrease after that. That will be our pattern all the way around for round 14. And you will have 27 stitches at the end of this round. All right, so I will see you at the end of round 14. At the end of round 14, you should end with a decrease for your 27th stitch. 
Okay, now I'm going to start stuffing here because this is starting to feel kind of like a know, soggy diaper or something. It's starting to get weighed down. So I just grab a bunch. I'm always shocked at how much stuffing it takes for something little. Even like these little bees that I make and stuff. I just can't believe how much stuffing it takes. But go ahead and start stuffing each side of the top of the heart and you can shape it as you go you know I throw a bunch in there and then kind of pull it up to look at it and see where I need more and just how much more which is usually quite a bit <laughs> and you want to throw some in the middle there too not so much so that this part bulks out but at least get it stuffed pretty good and it's up to you I mean some people like there's a little more mushy some people like it really stiff so just make sure you're getting all the way to the end or to the bottom of each side of the heart sorry this is shaky I have it on like a I don't even know what to call this thing for my camera all right, I'm going to finish stuffing and I will meet you right back. And when you're satisfied with your stuffing, we can move on to round 15, which is just one single crochet all the way around in every stitch. Um, and you'll have 27 at the end of round 15. So when I'm doing this, I just kind of hold on the inside here so that it's pushing the stuffing down and you're not bringing it up with every stitch because I know that can happen and it's very frustrating <laughs> when you have stuffing all over the place. So I just place my fingers on the inside and it usually keeps the stuffing at bay. All right, so I'll see you after round 15. And for round 16, we are going to do another decrease round. So we'll do a single crochet in the very first stitch and then we will do our invisible decrease in the next and that will be our pattern all the way around and you will have 18 stitches at the end of round 16. At the end of round 16 you'll end with a decrease And for round 17, we're just going to do a single crochet all the way around, one single crochet in every stitch around, and you will have 18 stitches then again at the end of round 17. And after this, we just have two rounds left. So I just want to say um, thank you for watching my video here. And if you're not subscribed, if you'd like to subscribe, I have a lot of other videos coming. I have a yarn giveaway coming and I have a lot of video tutorials already on here. Um, so if you want to take a look at those, hopefully you can find something that you like. Also, um, I am on TikTok and Instagram at Creations Misfit. If you do make this, I'd love for you to tag me in your project. And, um, and also if you can like this video and comment below, let me know what kind of yarn you used. I always am curious to see what kind, what color, uh, how the pattern worked for you. If you have any questions, who you made it for, all of those types of things here at the end of round 17, I'm going to start stuffing again too. So, um, I really do appreciate everybody that's been here and everybody that gives really nice feedback and, um, constructive criticism is welcome as well. So anything that you'd like to comment below, I'm always appreciative of that. And like I said, if you want a smaller version of this, I do have that video linked in the description box below. All right, so just go ahead and stuff. We only have two more rounds, so you won't be able to get a ton of stuffing in for those two rounds. So make sure you get in the sides here and stuff it to your liking. Okay, so for round 18, we are just going to decrease all the way around. So you're going to do uh, an invisible decrease. 
Here are the first two stitches. Mark that. And then you will do the same all the way around. Single crochet two together and you will have nine stitches when you get to the end of round 18. Look at this. Yeah, the end of round 18. At the end of round 18, you'll have nine stitches. And if you need to stuff any more, um, go ahead and do that. I'm just going to throw a little bit more in here for our last round. Just want to make sure it's even, <laughs> evenly stuffed. All right, so for the last round, we are going to do, this is round 19, we're going to do a single crochet in the first stitch. You can mark it if you want. You don't have to if you don't want. Um, and then we're going to decrease in the next two stitches. And that will be our pattern around. And you'll have six stitches at the end of this. So there's two, single crochet is three, Decrease is four, single crochet is five, and the decrease is six. It's kind of hard to get that front loop when it gets so small here. And then you can just slip stitch to that very first stitch we made and um, tie off. So you'll leave a long tail to sew in. Stuff any last bit that you need to here, and you can pull your strand through. So I'm just going to stuff a little bit more in there. You can use the end of your hook if you need to. A little bit more. All right, and then you will just... Uh, thread your needle, put your yarn through, and we're just going to go around this way, and I just pull up the front loop of each stitch, if you can see it, otherwise just go under the stitch, but I just pull up the front loop of each of these six stitches around, oops, sorry about that. And then pull tight and that will close it up and then you can just put your needle through I just go through several times I kind of go here and then put it through somewhere else on the pillow just try not to pull too tight because it will leave an indent there And just shape your pillow as need be and I do that um, at least twice just go into another closed stitch put my needle straight through the stuffing to the other side don't pull too tight and then because I like to I go through a third time <laughs> and pull through and if you pull too tight and there's an indent, you can just kind of fluff it back up. All right, and then from there you can cut your yarn. And there's your heart. You're all set. So uh, once again, thank you so much for being here. And I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you find a lot more tutorials on my channel that you enjoy as well. And have a really great day. Thank you.